Hello, today we are baking pancakes together. In Poland there are various kinds of pancakes. We eat potato pancakes and they are salty, not sweet. We can eat pancakes with apples or very flat pancakes resembling crepes. Or for example, the dish I'm going to propose today, which are cottage cheese pancakes. So sweet pancakes. When it comes to the ingredients, we need plain flour, sugar, milk, one whole egg, baking powder and cottage cheese. I have cottage cheese in bar. You also need a bowl and a tablespoon. I often use plastic jack to prepare my pancakes in. Why? Because then it's easier to fry them. You just pour the dough. But today I decided for the glass bowl so as to show you how it looks, the consistency of the dough and so on. So what to do first? When it comes to the amount of the ingredients, I don't usually measure it. I just put it, mix it together and, and so on. But I will try to make it clearer for you. So I will use a mug to measure it. So when it comes to plain flour, let's say it should be one mug and a half. So here you are, one mug and a half. When it comes to sugar, it's just half a mug. It's not very healthy to eat too much sugar, therefore I reduced it. Half a mug. When it comes to baking powder, about two teaspoons. If you don't have baking powder at home, you may swap it for baking soda. It doesn't make much difference. Now the egg. Okay, we have the egg and milk. It's difficult to measure the amount of milk. So my advice for you is to just to start stirring it and adding the milk. Okay, let's stir it a bit more. When you bake, you may see the dough. It's still too thick, so I will add some milk to thin it a little bit. But generally it should be rather thick. You pr if you know how to prepare crepes, it's, it's, you should know it's different. Because in case of crepes it should be thinner. And there you add probably milk and water. And here only milk. And it should be quite thick as I said. I'm stirring it. Well, a bit of milk. I will show it in a minute. But now I will need to I need to add the cottage cheese and then I will show you what the bowl contains. I'm stirring it. Of course you may use robots, but I like to do it myself, especially as I'm on my holidays in my cottage house. So here I like preparing everything in a traditional way, even cakes. And now the cottage cheese. I'm just taking the cottage cheese into my hands and I'm tearing some parts. It will be very thick after adding the cottage cheese. Okay, here you go. Just the cottage cheese. It smells nice. You may use reduced fat cottage cheese if you are on a diet, of course. Okay, and let's stir it and I will show you the consistency in a minute. Okay, so here it is. You may have a look at it. And after stirring it well, it's time to fry it. Now it's time to fry the pancakes, so I have my apron on, so as to 
prevent myself being burned or stained and, and so on. What I want to say before I'm going to fry the pancakes is that this dish is very cheap, first of all. As you could see, just simple ingredients go there and it's not very time consuming to prepare. It's just 15 minutes. You may even prepare the dough before you go to work and then fry them. Okay, the oil is already hot. Be careful now. And I'm taking whole tablespoons of the dough and putting it onto the pan. You can probably see the characteristic noise of something being fried. I'm just frying four pancakes at a time. As you see, I'm using just plain tablespoon, but you can also use the label if you find it more comfortable. If you have an impression the fry is too big, you may just reduce it, what I'm going to do now. The only thing that you may find problematic about the pancakes is the case that you are not always successful at frying them. Much depends on the saucepan or depends on the quality of oil and of course on your experience. But it's sometimes like that that first round doesn't fry well and the next one does. So you should just be patient and you should try and you should not get discouraged. This is the case. Okay, I'm now checking whether I can put them on the other side to fry. Not yet. Be patient, don't get nervous. Check them, check on them from time to time and everything is gonna be okay. I have some paper towel here. If the dough goes out of the bowl or if the grease is somewhere here, yeah, just to wipe it. Let me see. Okay, not yet. We should wait a little bit. I mentioned that you may prepare the dough before going to work. Why? Well, first of all, to reduce your time spent in the kitchen after coming back from work. But secondly, as it's baking powder or baking soda inside, it kind of grows when you are not there. Of course, don't do that with yeast, because then it grows too much. But if it's baking soda or baking powder, it's okay. It will just be more fluffy when you go back from work. And you will impress your guests that you may prepare pancakes in such short amount of time. Okay, I'm trying to put them on the other side. Here we go, now I need to change my position. Okay, and the last one. As I'm left-handed now, I may use my left hand. All right, let's wait a little bit. Maybe some of you are wondering what to serve these pancakes with. Well, as there is cottage cheese inside, they can be served as they are, without any additives. But you may use powdered sugar or, for example, jam to smear it over the pancakes. Or fresh fruits, or cream, and so on. You may be very, very inventive. Let's wait a little bit. As I said earlier, be careful not to burn yourself. And in a minute, oh, I burned myself, but just a little bit, it's just my finger. Okay, the pancakes are ready. Voila! As you can see, some of them are fried more than others, but as I said, you need to have a very good pan to make them perfect.
Dobrze ci tak smakuje? Well, my daughter says she adores my pancakes. And you can see that she she's eating them very willingly. So what else can I say? Bon appétit!